Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor Kiriakis just came back to Days of Our Lives, but how? Fans of Days of Our Lives were left wondering about a specific scene in an episode that was already overflowing with soapy goodness. His soon-to-be bride insisted on learning the truth about her late husband Victor's final days as the walls grew closer to the villain Constantine. Additionally, rather than simply having Constantine verbally fill in the gaps, the soap recalled a fateful meeting between the groom and his late adversary. In the scene, Constantine sought assistance in rescuing his failing business. He stated that Victor owed him, considering that it was Constantine's dad who'd gave the cash which aided send off the Kiriaki's domain. He said that Victor had taken my child, my wife, and my whole heart from him when that plea was rejected. Victor discussed his second thoughts, at last consenting to have another draft of his will drawn up on the spot. In doing as such, Victor basically shot himself in the foot when Constantine, reluctant to hang tight for a possible payout, rather had his girl's executioner's plane messed with. However, Aniston was not in any of the scenes. Instead, a body double was used to deliver the dialogue, and they did an excellent job of imitating Aniston's stern intonations, as evidenced by the fact that Victor only appeared in the scene from behind. Peaceful unrest, days of our lives Constantine is dead, but he may not have completed wreaking havoc. We know that Constantine, the baddie from days of our lives, won't be remembered fondly. In point of fact, there will probably be a lot of fans who will be cheering for his demise. After all, he made Maggie Horton Kiriakis look kind of like a Nimrod for a while there. But it's clear that head writer Ron Carlovati and his team are determined to get the show back on track. They recently regained control of the show after the writer's strike that kept them out for months. Additionally, doing so meant eliminating Constantine and significantly raising the stakes regarding Teresa, his undercover partner in crime. Ironically enough, Maggie's potential husband said, you think this is over, right before he took his last breath in front of the Kiriaki's crypt. But none of you are smart. There is still a foe within your ranks. Even as Teresa squirmed, the episode, which is recapped in full here, left Sander and the others wondering to whom Constantine might be referring in true cliffhanger fashion. Although fans were not particularly enamored with Constantine, despite a fine performance from John Capello's, it appears unlikely that the character will join the SRS. Sure, people in Salem have a disturbing tendency to return from the dead. As the story of Teresa's involvement with the man continues to unfold, we might at most see Constantine in flashbacks. Capello's first appeared in the role in April 2023, when he briefly participated in a storyline that found Hope and Harris in Greece. Brady and Alex started looking for answers about Victor's behavior in the weeks before he died a few months later. The trail led them to Constantine, who claimed to be an old friend of the Kiriakis patriarch who had passed away. From there, Constantine infiltrated not only Maggie's life but also the lives of everyone in her circle. He did something that many fans thought was unforgivable, making Maggie look foolish along the way. How, they pondered, might she not see through the undeniable con at any point man? When Maggie reversed the situation on Constantine at the wedding, and he admitted to having killed Victor, the issue at hand was certainly obvious to everyone, and it read Constantine should kick the bucket. Search for Constantine to keep on affecting stories over the course of the following little while, as Maggie figures out significantly more about the man to whom she nearly dedicated herself. In addition, there are still a lot of big secrets to come out, like the truth about Xander's paternity and Teresa's involvement in the schemes of the dead man. Chad DeMera and Thomas DeMera visit Abigail DeMera's grave. Additionally, Tate Black's date with his mother fails. According to DOL spoilers for Friday, May 10, Julie will meet Paulina Price. Obviously, Julie will ask how Chanel and Johnny are doing after the blizzard salvage. Julie might have also read an article about Paulina in The Spectator written by Everett Lynch, also known as Robert Bobby Stein, or Blake Barris. Paulina should tell Julie that Chanel is pregnant. However, Paulina's radioactive rescue mission could result in serious issues for the infant. Janelle felt uneasy when Kayla Johnson said that the radiation exposure could cause issues. John will be asked by Chanel if he wants to keep the child. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Friday, May 10th reveal that Tate will host a Mother's Day brunch at the Bistro. 
Johnny does this, but he is also thinking about what E.J. DeMera said. Tate and Teresa Donovan are enjoying themselves to the fullest. Notwithstanding, their early lunch is intruded on by E.J., Nicole Walker DeMera, and Holly Jonas. On Friday, May 10, fans can likewise anticipate Eric Brady to give Sloan Peterson Brady, Jessica Surfity, a Mother's Day gift. Could Sloan be soothed by this Mother's Day present? Or could it make Sloan realize that she needs to part ways with Jude Brady and Eric? Sloan admitted to Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, that nothing she has done has been worth it, even though it could result in jail time. Chad and Thomas, on the other hand, go to Abigail's grave. It is additionally prodded that Chad will wind up tracking down Abigail's journal one week from now. Anyway, accomplishes something occur at the grave visit that has Chad glancing through Abigail's things? Does Thomas make reference to something that gets Chad thinking? It could mean a turn in occasions and somewhat of a set of experiences rework, so remain tuned. DOL spoilers reveal that in the April 29th episode, Brady and Rachel had a heart-to-heart. -heart. After John arrived, Kristen called Brady. Kristen realized her scheme had backfired and told Brady that the permission slip still needed her signature. That is when Rachel admitted that she forged Kristen's name, but didn't see a big deal. Brady mentioned in front of Rachel that each day, she reminds him more of Kristen. John intercepted and then Rachel trotted off. However, Brady's frustration in parenting Rachel was clear. Brady was grateful that he was being allowed to have some extra time with Rachel. That is when John questioned why Kristen was giving Brady that extra time. Normally, Kristen wouldn't budge. Days of Our Lives spoilers reveal that John gave Brady a reality check. John told Brady that he will forever be linked to Kristen because they share a child together, Rachel. Brady sighed in frustration and understood what his father was saying. However, could John's statement have also been foreshadowing the future? Right now, Brady is single and doesn't have his eye on anyone. Every once in a while, Brady shares some moments with Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, but she's focused on Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson. As for Kristen, she went to bed with Alex and enjoyed it so much she looks forward to more passion. Rachel mentioned to Brady that Kristen and Alex were dating. What was supposed to be a rake romp turned very real. It's possible that the fake romance could get Brady jealous. Even though Brady claims to want nothing to do with Kristen, these two always end up back in each other's orbits. We have to say, it's a lot more interesting than Brady being with Chloe Lane, Nadia Bjorlin, Nicole Walker DeMera, Ariane Zucker, Teresa, or anyone else. Brady's moral compass and Kristen's unpredictability do make some sizzling chemistry. Do you think John was foreshadowing Brady's future? Is the person Brady is meant to be with Kristen? Could Rachel end up getting her wish by having her parents back together? It could go in that direction, so stay tuned.